This is the e-commerce coffee break, the podcast dedicated to Shopify store owners who want to optimize their business for maximum conversions and revenue. Each week, you're going to get actionable advice and hear from special guests talking about various topics on how to run a profitable business on Shopify. Learn how to survive in the fast-changing e-commerce world with your host, Klaus Lauter, and get e-commerce insights you can't Google. Welcome to the show. Hey, it's Klaus here with another quick tip episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Today, I want to quickly talk about trust building elements on your website, on your store. Now, why would you need trust building elements on your store? A lot of traffic, specifically cold traffic that's coming to your website has never heard of you before. So they potentially do not know about your brand. They do not know about your business. So therefore, you want to make sure that they understand you're a business that they can trust with their credit card when they buy from you. That's where trust building elements come into play. Trust building elements can be the following things that can be reviews, testimonials, awards, qualifications, mentions in the press and anything that helps you to show that there are other people out in the world that have bought from you and that trust you. So how do you do this in the best possible way on your store? Now, first of all, you want to show the right trust building elements in the right moment in the customer journey. Not every trust building element makes sense on every page. Give you an example here. If you are using, for instance, credit card icons, a lot of stores, you will see this. They have it all over the place. You will find it on the homepage. You will find it on the collection page and so on and so forth. Now, this information that you are working with the leading credit card providers does not really help on the homepage because in that point in the customer journey, the people do not even know if they want to buy anything from you. So it's sort of wasted space. Where it comes in handy is obviously on the card page, on the checkout page. That's the moment when people pull out or thinking about pulling out their credit card. And then they want to know, can I use this credit card? Are you a approved merchant that is providing these credit card processes? So therefore, you want to go and only show credit card elements, credit card icons on the card page and on the product page. I see a lot of merchants having these already on the product detail page. I would use this space for other trust building elements. On the product detail page, for instance, you can have below your add to cart button some graphics, some icons there that show that basically since business family owned business, for instance, or in business since 1980 something, or you're accredited for uh, ecological products or something like that, any kind of uh, awards or qualifications that you have there. So on the product detail page, you want to work with these trust building elements. There can either be, and that's the better option related to the product on the product detail page, or they can be related to the brand, to the business. On the homepage, specifically important to have enough trust building elements there. The homepage has three reasons. You want to inform about your value proposition, what's in it for the potential customer of yours. You want to build up trust and you want to take people to your best-selling collections on products. Now, what kind of trust building elements can you use on the homepage? That's where, for instance, mentions in the press would work nicely, where you can use any kind of user-generated content. So that can be testimonials or reviews. You will want to show them there. And again, qualifications, awards, anything you have, you want to have on the homepage. Why you want to have it there? What happens often is that your traffic does not necessarily start the customer journey, your funnel on the homepage. People will come through organic search results or paid ads through your product detail page. If they do not get all the information that they need to trust your business, they will go either to the About Us page or do the homepage to the homepage to find out who you are, what kind of business you are, where you're based, and so on and so forth. And that's why you want to have all these trust building elements on the homepage just to sort of show them that you are real and not a, a scam. Specifically, with a lot of competition out there, you want to make sure that your trust building elements really stand out, really show the quality of your business. So don't just go out there and copy and paste some icons that you find somewhere and put it on there. It should be really related to your business and really show that you have earned these trust building elements, this trust building bits and pieces on your website, and they're really related to your business. 
Again, there, make sure you show the right things in the right moment at the, in the customer journey. Don't just plaster it all over around, which I sometimes see just creates distraction. Um, you always want to have clarity on your product pages, on your store, and um, really lead people with the right information through the shopping process and address all concerns and obligations they have so that they will feel safe and secure to buy from you. I hope that makes sense. That's just a quick run through why you should use trust building elements on your store. If you have any questions, then as always, feel free to reach out and I see you in the next episode of the e-commerce coffee break. Have a good one. Hey, Klaus here. Before you leave, I have a question. I rarely offer this, but I think if your business might have some opportunities to optimize it, then I would love to work with you. So if you're open to the idea of having me as a consultant for your Shopify store and your marketing, then I can offer you to meet up every second week for a scheduled call of 45 minutes, and we will try to improve your conversion rates and grow your revenue. We will increase your, the revenue from traffic you already have, optimize and improve your store. And I will give you tips to improve your offer, your marketing, your ads, your email, and more. And then generally, I will help you to scale. I think that would be extremely beneficial for you to have me looking over your shoulder and go into your store, into your offers and your ads on a bi-weekly basis, specifically as I'm involved in seven-figure stores. We can start off at $240 per month. So that's simple, affordable. There's no contracts, no commitments, no surprises. And I think it's a darn good deal for you since just a few more sales will cover your investment. Obviously, I will try to help you as much as possible on that side. So let me know what you think. Just drop me an email at klaus at klauslauter.com. So that's C-L-A-U-S at C-L-A-U-S-L-A-U-T-E-R.com. Or visit my website or message me directly on social media and I will get you all the details. Hope to talk to you soon and have a great day.